Hey everyone, welcome back to Art City. My name is Alicia and today I'll be showing you how to make these fun and easy paper plate constellation crafts. For today's craft, we'll be using paint and a paper plate to create our constellations. I'll also be giving a short introduction to astrology so that your choice of constellation can be special to you. So without further ado, let's get started. So before we begin the actual craft, let's learn the basics of astrology. Though astrology is really complex and has many layers to it, today we'll just be focusing on the most basic principle of astrology, that is the 12 star signs of the zodiac. Depending on the day you were born, you fall into one of the 12 zodiac signs, also known as your star sign. And over the years, each sign has developed its own set of characteristics and qualities associated with it. So let's get into figuring out our star signs. The first sign, who happens to love being number one, is Aries. People born between March 21st and April 19th fall into Aries. Represented by the ram, these signs are typically known for being fearless, energetic, and ready for challenges. If your birthday falls between April 20th and May 20th, you fall into Taurus. These signs are represented by the bull and are described as loyal, relaxed, and enjoy art and luxury. The next sign, whose birthday falls between May 21st and June 20th, is Gemini. Their symbol is the celestial twins. They can be shy and reserved one minute and share their thoughts the next. They tend to be good at learning languages and making friends. The next sign is Cancer, represented by the crab. People born between June 21st and July 22nd fall into this sign. They tend to be dreamers, homebodies, and enjoy creating meaningful connections with their family and friends. The next sign is Leo. Born between July 23rd and August 22nd, these signs are represented by the lion. They are known for being confident, positive, and leaders. Next, we've got Virgo. Born between August 23rd and September 22nd, Virgos are represented by the goddess of wheat and agriculture. They tend to be organized, hardworking, and helpful to their close friends and family. Next up is Libra. Represented by the scales, the only inanimate symbol, these signs have birthdays between September 23rd and October 22nd. These signs bring balance and harmony and love art and beauty. Next up is Scorpio. People born between October 23rd and November 21st fall into this sign, represented by the scorpion. They are known for being mysterious, private, and powerful. After, we've got Sagittarius. People born between November 22nd and December 21st fall into this sign, represented by the archer. These signs are free-spirited and love learning and exploring what life has to offer. The next sign is Capricorn. Represented by the mythological sea goat, these signs are born between December 22nd and January 19th. They are known for being disciplined, hardworking, loyal, and down to earth. Next up is Aquarius, represented by the water bearer, a mystical healer. If you're born between January 20th and February 18th, you fall into this sign. They are known for being cool, unconventional, and often do things for the greater good. Last but not least, we have Pisces, represented by the fish. Pisces are born between February 19th and March 20th. They are known for being dreamy, having a passion for the arts, and are in tune with their own, as well as other people's emotions. Alright, so with that basic introduction to the 12 astrological signs, by now you should have figured out your sign. Now, let's get into the craft. The supplies you need for this craft include a paper plate. I didn't have one, so I'm just using a plastic takeout container lid. You'll also need white paint, black paint, paint brushes, and newspaper or a tablecloth to protect your workspace from the paint. Let's start off by painting our paper plates. We want to start off with a dark background, like the night sky, so we'll use either black paint or if you don't have, you can use dark blue paint as well. So go ahead and paint your plate and leave it until it's dry. 
Once it's dry, we'll use our white paint for the stars. Grab your paint and paintbrush. Put a bit of white paint on your paintbrush. Then, use your finger to splatter the white paint onto your background. This will create an effect like stars. You can do this all over your plate until you're satisfied with how it looks. We'll wait for that to dry before moving on to our next step. Once again, using the white paint, we'll be painting the constellation of our astrological sign. My birthday falls under Capricorn, so I will be drawing that. I'll start off just by painting lines then, in the corners, I'll draw stars with my paint. If you need to look at your constellation again, you can scroll back to the astrology explanation part of the video. Once this is dry, you are all done. If you have, it would be fun to add glitter or star stickers as well. Since I had a bunch of rhinestones that I wasn't using, I went ahead and glued them as the stars of my constellation. And after I added the rhinestones, I was all done with my craft. Alright, so that's all for today's video. I hope you had fun learning a bit about astrology and making today's simple craft. Thanks for watching. Bye!